attachment. Gee, it's not moving back. That is so annoying. Hello, YouTube. Kirikage here, back with the hell is my chair not moving for? Um, part. Fucking. The hell? I don't know. Part 5. <coughs> that was weird, it just wasn't moving back for some reason. Is it. Possibly not. What the hell? They're like. something. Sort of a reason for it not to move? What the hell? Huh. Is it. Hmm. The oh, fuck? That did not sound good. What the hell is going on? My chair. One of them had the brakes on it. The hell, man. That is so annoying. Like, the hell? I mean, like, we always have like little wee brakes on them and stuff, and I did not put any on, and that's why I wasn't moving, but the fuck? That was unexpected. Anyway, hello, more well, hello, I don't know, I'm Kirikage, with part 5 of Wonder Book Book of Potions, and uh, let's get straight into it after the f Open the book if you want to go back. Ready for the next chapter. Nearly there. Are you ready? Drop in temperature, cold and darkness. I suspect I know what we may encounter next. Let's get started. <laughs> oh yes, all will become clear. Doxicide. A potion of prodigious power to repulse the vile Doxy. Students of my work may wonder why I chose to devote my genius to deterring these fairy-like nuisances. Suffice it to say that even hermits suffer from household pests. <laughs> Hence, I created this, a full-bodied, venomous mixture, yet well-rounded. There you ah, are, then. So, to the recipe. Let me just refresh my memory. Such a clever mixture. Bundeman acid, shells of the venomous streeler, dragon liver. I astonish even myself sometimes. I'm gonna get the dragon liver. Hemlock. Pretty sure that's just straight up toxic. Um, I'm gonna get it from the chest. Pretty sure that's it. But, uh, 
Here's another ingredient. Next page, next page. Only one competitor is ahead. We must catch up. Ah, yes. Steal yourself. Use your wand. Let's find out what's first. The Bundyman. A foul creature that feeds on dirt and grime, hiding in houses and rotting them from the inside. Mm, they hide under floorboards and in darkest corners. Use your wand to shift some of this wood. Let's find it. Use your wand. Shift this wood. Don't worry, Bandimans don't bite, they just smell and ooze. Best move this wood with your wand. Why don't it like just go away? Don't worry, Bandimans don't buy. Now, what have we here? Pick up the magnifying glass. Take a good look at it. Let's read. Hmm, eyes. One of the only things that distinguishes a Bandiman from a patch of fungus or mold is its beady eyes. Oh, secretion. Unchecked, a Bundyman can easily secrete enough of its revolting acid to eat away at the foundations of a house until it collapses. Now you can keep looking or pick up your wand to move on. Ah, legs. Bundimans are skilled at hiding under floorboards and behind skirting boards, but will scuttle away on their spindly legs when threatened. Back to your wand now. So I had the white chocolate. Good! Oh, that's really, really good. It like, tastes like oh, white chocolate. Oh. And onto the board it goes. That's the way! Nicely juiced! Smells delectable! There, the flask is right. Now tilt your book up to pour that juice downward. Juicing by hand is satisfying, isn't it? See the flask at the front of the book, full of juice? Pick it up. And pour! Good! They're tough creatures. They'll shrug off a bit of prodding. That's the first toxic ingredient. Now it must be stirred. Swap to the spoon. There we go. Keep going. Oh, yes. Smoke. Uh, don't worry, that's normal. <coughs> oh. There, clear. And you're... Still here. Good, good. <laughs> Remember to try this ingredient in the concoctions chapter. Onwards! Next for our Doxy's hide, another toxic ingredient. Turn the page. Get ready, this creature is dazzling as well as deadly. Curious? Let's get started. The African Streeler is one of the most venomous creatures in the world, and it leaves smoking trails of scorched ground wherever it goes. Pick up the magnifying glass. Mm, 
Yes, now hold the move button. Ah, shell. The shell of the streamer changes color. These kaleidoscopic cycles make it a highly entertaining pet. That was made really dangerous pet. Keep examining it. There's more to learn yet. This will come in handy. As it is incredibly toxic, Streela Venom is an aid to wizard gardeners in dealing with hawk lump infestations. Hmm, trail. The venomous trail the Streela leaves behind is an enemy to any vegetation which shrivels and burns as it passes. Now to collect some shells. Pick up your wand. By using a spell, it is possible to halt streelers so that their shells can be removed. The stunning spell, you know the way. That's the way! Now I always choose blue shells for my potion, so wait for their shells to turn blue, then flick your spell. Ready? No good. Try again. Wait for one to turn blue. Remember everywhere. Wait for it to turn blue again. That's one. Oh, that didn't work. Good timing. Good shot. Remember, wait until you see a blue. We're making progress. We need a few that are up in the trees. What's that? There it goes. Now a few more. Wait for one to turn blue. Did it very good! Remember to go to the collectibles chapter later. There you can gather those ingredients again and challenge a friend. First shell now, pick it up. Now put in a bit more, would you? Pick up the pestle. You need to grind everything up. Now to turn your hand to the grinding itself. Back to your wand now. Uh huh, you have it. Now pick up the bowl. <clears throat> yes, that's it. What's next? Time to stir. Grab the spoon. Right then. Just like that. Nice and fast. Good stirring. Don't let me catch you licking the spoon afterwards. Time to heat things up. It's time to raise those flames. A higher heat is needed. Time to drop the heat a little and let it simmer. Now to heat it up a little. Just right. Right. 
Now, time to eat it more. Now get ready. Wave your hands. We need to clear away this smoke. Start waving. Oh, there, clear. And you're still here. Good, good. I'm so surprised every time I'm still here. <laughs> Let's try it on a toad. Why am I trying? Ready? Get the bottle. To test the potion, we just need to pour it onto him. Doesn't like that. The potion is only really harmful to doxies. I believe you're on the right track, though. Another collectible ingredient. Don't forget to try it out. I see I've piqued your interest. One of the most magically powerful of beasts, their hide, blood, heart, liver, and horn all possess magical properties. It is their liver that we are primarily interested in for our doxicide. Shout something. Our scaly friend uh, might come out if you make a noise. Come on out. I can't shout through people's sleep. So get close to the camera. Come on out, Dre. Here it comes. A shy one, this. Magnificent. Kill it. Try tilting up the left page. Those rocks look loose. That did it. Right, get the magnifying glass. Now have a good look at it. Remember, you can turn the book around. Ah, wing. The dragon's gift of flight increases its dangerous reputation. It is able to carry off its prey, or even to destroy dwellings simply by landing on them. There, now hold the move button. <laughs> ah, body. Dragons have a tough, scaly hide, making their skin very useful for protective wizard wear, such as dragon hide gloves. <laughs> Yes, now hold the move button. We haven't found what we are looking for yet. Liver. Dragon liver is a powerful potion ingredient which is often useful to potioneers despite being obviously tricky to obtain. Fortunately for you, we have a tiny amount of dragon liver to use. Get your wand. Good, good. Now to chop it uh, carefully. Dragon liver is hard to come by, so don't waste any. Move over some of the liver. That's time for the knife. Cut it up as small as you can. Excellent. That's it. Now swap back to your wand and we can get this lot into the cauldron. Okay. Excellent. 
chopping. Now to stir. Get the spoon. Good. Now the last stage. <laughs> oh, wave your hands to clear away the smoke. Oh, there, clear. And you're still here. Good, good. Here it is. But wait, is that it? Just rub the bottle for me. Let's check. Do I rub, rub, it, rub it? That bottle still needs a wipe. You can use your hand. Don't forget to wipe the bottle. You need to clean the bottle before adding the ingredient. Wipe it with your hand for me. Don't forget to wipe the bottle. That bottle still needs a wipe. You can use your hand. Oh, the bottle needed cleaning first. Hmm, the bottle's too dirty. I can't tell what it is. You need to clean the bottle before adding the ingredient. Wipe it with your hand you for me. Ah, yes, that's it. Hemlock essence. Pick it up and add a good glug. Good. What's next? Get the spoon once more. This is... difficult. Hopefully... Swap to the spoon. Your wand's no good here. Good. That's it. You have it! Let's just make sure. Clean that bottle off for me. Ah, yes, that's it. Our old friend, Cowbane. Into the cauldron with it. Pick it up, pick it up. Oh, careful, that's too much. Uh, just a dip. Now, carefully, the last ingredient. Tincture of Tormentil. All right, now. Right, now a slow stir. Get the spoon. That's right. There, you have it. We must heat the doxyside mixture. Let's get heating. Oh, it won't get any hotter. It just needs a little time to settle. Turn the page. There's a story about why I developed this duxy repellent. While we wait for your potion, you may be wondering why I put my talents to tackling doxies. Well, their infestations are no laughing matter. Would you like to hear the story? Of course you would. <laughs> Ugh. <sighs> 
I created Doxicide because swarms of these vile creatures... Uh, ...which resemble ugly, hairy fairies with poisonous fangs... ...used to descend upon my island home every autumn. They will happily feed upon a single witch or warlock, draining their blood until their poor victim collapses. It took many attempts to create a potion sufficiently powerful to repel doxes. One of my previous concoctions had the unfortunate effect of making the doxes... Uh... Now, what was it? I still have the scars. Can you find it? Yes, it made the doxies red hot and fiery, which neither the doxies nor I enjoyed. <laughs> They shot through the air like furious, red-hot, hairy coals, setting bushes and trees on fire. And reducing to ash the scrolls on which I record my potion experiments. Finally, I was pursued from my burning house by a swarm of flaming doxies, and was forced to spend the night... Um, where was it? Where did I hide to escape from those blood-sucking doxies? Yes, that's it. I was forced to spend the night standing Whoa. in the sea. Breathing through a hollow stick to escape their attacks. Thankfully, I perfected my doxicide the following autumn and have never again been troubled by these nasty little creatures. Our doxy's hide should be suitably steeped. Turn the page to finish it off. Here we are, ready to put the final touches to our doxy's hide. Keep your wrist loose now. Right, here we go. Used to... That's yeah. the way. I, I can't it anyway, so. I'll try the right. Got it. A good dose. There we are, a powerful draft of doxicide. They won't know what hit them. Very well done! It's time to find what's waiting for us. Use your wand to pull up the map. Now, prepare yourself, ready to survive the pass. <laughs> this challenge, we must be very close to the Golden Cauldron. I'll bet none of the other champions had the foresight to prepare Doxicide. Truly, I astonish even myself. Point at the map there and press the move button. So, our path through this cave to the Golden Cauldron is blocked by a swarm of Doxies. And how are we going to spray the Doxicide, you ask? With this atomizer. It's a simple enough tool. Anyone could use it, even you. You hold down the move button to spray, but don't hold it for too long. It will get clogged up. If that happens, you need to shake the thing as fast as you can to clear it. Stop that? Good. There, now show the Doxies who's boss. Here the creatures come. Quick, get spraying. Oh, it's nearly clogged up. Be ready to shake. 
Saturation. Yes. Oh, oh yes. Don't stop shaking. It doesn't like that. Oh, it bit you. That must have hurt. Best get spraying. Keep shaking. Once more. Not there, that's what... Oh, so many bites. We need to get you out of here so we can give you the antidote. Okay. No more doxies. Insufferable creatures. Have your atomizer ready. Just like that. Good spraying. Well done. A hit. Keep shaking. And again! Very nice indeed! Don't stop sh Superbly done! All the doxies dealt with. Now let's hurry this way. I think I see a path. Another doxy ready to... Where did they come from? They're all around us! Got it! Keep an eye on it. Oh, what? They've gone. It was a close call, but I believe we've seen the last of them, thank goodness. Oh, this cave is a maze. Courage now, fend them off. Quick, shake the atomizer to clear it. That's it now. That's a nasty bite. Watch out. Oh, that got its attention. Keep shaking, please. Start spraying. Ouch! There are a lot of bites. Perhaps you needed to practice more with the Doxy side. At least we made it through. We must be near the Golden Cauldron now. It's the greatest test of a potion here. And I'm starting to think that we can do it together. Mainly me, though, of course. Oh, Merlin's beer. What an ordeal. But do you see my point now about Doxy's loathsome things? Oh, we should be safe here now, thank goodness. Forgive my excitement. I'm overjoyed. We're nearly there. You see, I was robbed of my life's ambition to win this championship, and... Oh, I've mentioned it, have I? <laughs> Please, understand. Some have suggested that disappointment warped me. This is nonsense. I enjoyed a long and full life alone on Hermitray, working on this, my masterwork, my legacy. The Book of Potions. I always dreamt that one day this book might accompany a great potioneer to victory at the championship, and now it feels as though it is in reach. Thanks to you, my lifelong ambitions might finally be realized. My life's work will be complete if we can just claim the Golden Cauldron. <clears throat> what are you sitting around for? Close the book and pick the next chapter. Well, now that means you the end of the video, of course. Because uh, keeping it to one chapter of video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you, um, yeah, not already, of course, subscribe. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Um, just gonna get up and. Stop the recording. Alright, hope you enjoyed. Later.